Hey guys, welcome to October. So I have been doing daily drawing, sketching, writing, scribbly doodling journal of some kind for quite a while now, every single day. And I discovered a couple of months ago that I really enjoy having the journal pre-decorated. So all I need to do is open it to the page, find the creative inspiration words, and do a little work in it, and then I'm one and done. And if I am away from home, I don't have to bring, you know, a bag of collage materials with me and a glue stick and I just need a pen and a couple of highlighter markers. And that really works really well for me. And so I've been taking my monthly journal and going above and beyond decorating the cover and putting the inspiration word lists in and decorating all the pages. So we are going to, and I don't know that I've shown the whole process on camera before. I might have last month, I don't remember. So I use these, these are a knockoff moleskin journal. This is the kind of journal I've been using for a long time. Sometimes the marks and pen show through. I'm okay with it. It's a daily sketchbook drawing thing. It's not really, I mean, I share it on social media, but it's like for me, it's not, you know, it doesn't matter. So. I start with the cover, then we do the inside. I've got, this year I'm doing the Doodle Wash 2022 lists because I'm trying to catch up. And um, I have one, a, another list of inspiration words. There's two lists, so I do two words every day. And the other one has been created for my patrons and supporters. I create a uh, list for them every month along with some digital downloads and or stencil designs because I'm no longer making stencils, but um, if they have the ability with a Cricut or something to cut their own, they can do that because I give them the designs. And they also have a private YouTube channel and their own Facebook chat message chat with me. So if you'd like to be part of that, my Patreon's down below. So anyway, it also supports the free content here on YouTube and I would sure appreciate that because this is what I do. And YouTube ad revenue is just not all about it. So anyway, so I've got my two lists. I also, rather than writing the date in, I got lazy this year and I ordered these date stickers. Now I don't remember if I got them from Amazon or Etsy. I, I don't remember. I'll find out because I ought, actually, it's October. I need to order some for next year. I'll find out and I'll put the listing down below. Now the nice thing about these is they're not day specific. They just basically have the dates on there. And that works for me because then I can just use them. I can order another set and use it for next year. It's not a big deal. All right. So I've got a basket of stickers. I started doing this because I wanted to use up the stickers. And yeah, that didn't work. I just discovered I love stickers. And now my basket's like three times the size. Um, that happens. Sometimes I work with something for a while in the effort of trying to see if I want it. I usually do it in the effort of trying to see if I want to purge it or not. And sometimes I work with it and then I'm like, yeah, this needs to go on. It doesn't make me happy anymore. Other times, like recently with my yarn stash, I'm like, oh, I really like crocheting. Yep, I need to keep this and I need to get a few more balls. So, you know, it happens. Anyway, we're gonna find some stickers for the cover and then I cover it with clear packing tape and then we're going to do the inside. I am going to speed forward through the process, but if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Let's get started.
So here's where I want to say that what I'm going to put to decorate the paper, the pages, are some of these millions of paper clusters that I have that I created um, because I went through a creating paper clusters phase. And not that I wouldn't, won't do it again, but they don't do me any good sitting here in these bins. And so, and I can't make any more until I use up some of what I have. So, yeah. All right, let's get it done. Okay, that's done now, it's just gotta dry. Now the reason you saw me using Elmer's glue on the paper clusters is they're kinda heavy. So when I did the first one like this, I used some glue stick and Elmer's glue, and this month I just thought, why? That's like, why, why? Just why? I'm just gonna use Elmer's glue because the glue stick really just did nothing. Um, so I just need to let it dry. Now these that I put in between, these are obviously for our journaling in case you didn't get why that was so messy. Um, these are just inexpensive plastic cutting mats from Dollar Tree and I use them as like page protectors. So on those pages where I got a little messy with the glue, um, I have those in there until it dries. And now we'll just let it dry, put our stickers in for next month and we're done, we're ready for October. Do you have a daily art practice that you do every day? And if you do, what is it? Inquiring Minds would like to know. Check out the video description for relevant links, ways to support the free content here on YouTube, my Patreon if you want copies of my monthly word lists or any of the digital downloads I've put over there. They also have their own private Facebook group and a Facebook Messenger private chat with me. They can get me anytime. So anyway, I'd love to see you over there. Uh, it's a great way to support the free content here on YouTube because, yeah, ad revenue is not where it's all out about. Yeah. Anyway, above all, go out, be creative, have fun, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. See you in October. Bye, guys.